So after, you know, trading a fifth round draft pick for a kicker slash punter, Corey Vedvik, uh, he was cut today. And that was after only three weeks of being on the team. He didn't kick particularly well. You know, he only went one for four since joining Minnesota after going 12 for 13 up down in Baltimore. And I do know some probably are and will mock this team for the fact that they spent a fifth rounder on a specialist and he couldn't even make the final roster. But at the same time, right when Vedvik was actually traded for, you saw Dan Bailey and Matt Weil kind of step up their performance, at least reportedly in practice. And I I do think it showed in the game, at least because Dan, he did end up hitting three for three on his field goals and six for six on his extra points. And those field goals did include a 54 yarder in Buffalo where, you know, Vedvik did miss a 37 yarder, but made a 27 yarder. And in some ways, I think it, if spending a fifth to go get a guy, right, just lit a fire under those two and started making them perform well pretty much by competition, I really don't see it as that bad of a thing to do because as long as this continues where Dan Bailey's making kicks, I view this as still kind of a win just because I feel like it didn't start happening until we got him in, you know, Vedvik. So... If it took spending a five to fix our kicking problem, I feel like if we were given this option earlier in life, we would have done it. And I don't know about you guys, but do you care about what the nameplate says? Like if I just told you, you know, if you give a fifth rounder, a fifth round draft choice to whatever team, just X team, could be anyone, whether it be Baltimore again or Cincinnati or, you know, whoever it may be. If I said you just give a fifth round draft pick to that team and you can fix your kicking problem, do you care what the nameplate says? Do you care if it's Bailey, Vedvik, or anyone else? I, as long as it's fixed, I think that's kind of the main thing here. So as long as that continues, I don't think I care that Vedvik is gone, which he may not be entirely gone. It seems like it's a... Very real possibility that he comes back on the practice squad after his showings in Minnesota and Buffalo. I think it's pretty likely he clears waivers. So him being on the practice squad, I think, is a pretty realistic yeah, thing. So I do know that it might not necessarily work that way with this, but I'm just thinking if it does, if the competition did you know, light a fire though under Dan Bailey or Matt Weil and or because Matt Weil didn't have many chances to punt. And I know he only had like, I think it was the last game where he got a 33 yard punt in, but it did land at the eight. So you'll take that. And I don't know. It just feels like as long as it's fixed, I don't really care. I want to know what you guys think down in the comments below. This is actually a lot shorter video than I thought this would be. But until next time, I bid y'all adieu.